A big thank you to the Tenora cheerleaders for that welcome. Another great welcome, Chuck. Yeah, you know it. Hey, for 14 weeks worth of great welcome. 14 weeks. <laughs> exactly. Welcome to week 14 of the Tim and Chuck High School Football Show presented by Batten Stevens Body Shop. We are here on location at Frickers of Defiance as always. And Chuck, those Rams at Tenora, they just keep on moving down the tournament trail right into the Man, final four. Just rolling. They're a machine right now, you know, and you want to be playing your best football at the end of the season, and the Rams are definitely doing that. Well, let's let's jump into the schedule this week. Those Rams are going to be taking on Minster Friday night at Wapakonetis, Harmon Field. Yep. Division six, final four. Division seven, final four. We got Columbus Grove, nine and four, taking on Powerhouse Marion Local, 7 p.m. on yeah. Saturday night at Lima Stadium. Yeah. What do you think about that, Chuck? You know, I think uh, for the Rams, if you're ever looking for any motivation, maybe you can get a little bit, knowing that you've got to travel hour, hour and a half somewhere and the team you're facing, you know, maybe the, the state gave them a little bit of a cushion only having to go a couple minutes down the road. So not that the Rams really need any motivation, but you know, here in Northwest Ohio, we always sort, feel like we get slighted. So if you need some, there it is. There it is. Well, <laughs> Chuck, uh, that Minster team comes in at 10 and three from the Mighty Mac. Oh yeah. 25 state football championships, <laughs> two last year. They got three teams in the final four yeah. this year. What is it about that conference? Man, I don't know. You look at it, and, you know, there's a good graph in today's Crescent News about all the games that uh, the MAC has played in the playoffs and how many games the GMC has played in the playoffs. And, you know, the GMC, a lot of those schools haven't been around playing football, you know, as long as some of those other schools. Right. But you look at the numbers, the GMC has played like 75 playoff games, and uh, just Coldwater alone has played 73. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. so one team in the MAC has played as many playoff games as a GMC, so a lot of experience. They play really good football in the back. And so, Chuck, let's, let's jump into the game. Those Rambos we talked about, 17-0 winners over Winford last week, taking on that Minster team that blanked uh, West Liberty Salem 35 to nothing. Yeah, exactly. You know, when you look at it again, again, the Rams are going to have to deal with some size. You know, Minster has some guys up front. They've got that uh, big tackle, Hayden Schindler, almost a 300-pounder, 6'4", 285 pounds. Helps anchor down that offensive and defensive lines. So, you know, the Rams up front, they're going to have to deal with guys like that that are physically going to push the Rams a little bit. Well, what's going to be that, the key for that Tenora offense? Uh, I think uh, both Tenora and, and Minster come in off the back-to-back -back shutouts in the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, I've said it for 14 weeks I've said it, the Rams ride the horse that got you there, you know. Just keep the running game rolling. Uh, you know, so far nobody's had an answer for that run game. But then the scary part is is that the, the Rams passing attack has been just as deadly at getting the football down the field so that defenses can't just stack the box against the run. Well, let's flip it over. Uh, what are we going to see from this Minster offense? Well, you know, they run a little bit of a, a pistol look, a one back. Not a, a true shotgun, but, you know, about three or four yards deep with the quarterback, running back placed right behind him, and they do a lot of different things out of it. With that one back, they do spread you out. When they, when they need a go-to play in the passing game, you see a lot of quick slants and a lot of nine cuts, a lot of stuff long down the field. The quarterback does a good job of placing the ball, pretty accurate on those long throws, too. But at the same token, they will come out of the backfield with that running back. You know, they'll run a little speed option pitch, they'll run some draws, and the quarterback can pull it and run, too. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that people on Friday night are going to see a lot of physical football. What, oh, do you, yeah. what do you expect from this, Chuck? We, we use this word a lot, slobber knocker. Oh, I think yeah. that's the definition of this type oh, of game. exactly. You know, when you're dealing with the MAC team, you're not, you're not going to deal with a lot of pretty boy trying to get the ball out in space and use your moves. These guys are going to come and smack you. And, you know, and Tenora can uh, hand lay out the wood, too. So it's going to be a real, you know, man up. It's time to man up who's going to... You know, might come down to one play in the trenches, button it, you know, strap them up as hard as you can, tight as you can, and hey, what do you got? You know, maybe it comes down to an inch. <laughs> the winner gets to move on to the state championship. The show. Yeah, that's what you play for. Yeah, and that's the thing, you know, you get to this point and some teams are just happy and, and hey, we're in the state semifinals, but man, there's still two games to play if you want to reach the ultimate dream and you can't, you know, lose focus on it. Well, let's take a short break, Chuck. We'll be right back. Did you know that you can have complete access to stories, pictures, and the Crescent News e-edition at crescentnews.com for just $7 a month? Become an online subscriber to crescentnews.com by calling me, Abby, at 419-784-5441, extension 233, or visiting the Crescent News online subscribe section on the top right-hand corner of our homepage. And remember, Crescent News print subscribers, you have complete access at crescentnews.com for no additional charge. And we are back, and it's that time of the week, Chuck. 
Time to hand out some awards. Let's right. start with the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. What do they say about that, Chuck? Well, every uh, Tuesday, Tim, they like to say that a hit by any other name would not be the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. What do we got? Hey, coming from that Tenora game, well, I tell you what, let's listen to it first. All right, Dave, third down. Wow. I mean, that that is lay in the wood. That is snot bubble city right there. Tenora's uh, Tyler Risner, you know, just the, the great thing about that play is he's a defensive end that, that does his job, sees the back coming out, and just lays it on him. I mean, that... I mean, that is can, a momentum shifter right there, just to hit like can, that alone. Do you, can you draw draw it up any better than that? No, no, you can't. You know, when a lot of times when you're teaching defensive ends, they have all these different things they have to do, and one of them is sometimes attack the back coming out of the backfield and attack it. He did. Yeah, the the pad popping was 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 tremendous. Yeah, no. yeah. That's that is the Rose Insurance <laughs> Collision of the Week. Let's uh, jump into the Staff Mark Play of the Week from that same game. Actually, it's kind of a series of yeah. plays, Chuck. Uh, it starts with. Hayden Rhodes of Winford loses control of the football. Derek Smith of Tenora recovers it. That starts a four-play drive for, for the Rams. Revan Renolent looks downfield, hooks up for a big game with tight end Hunter Vogel. Riley Noggle rips off a good game. TJ Garris comes back for five more. And the next thing you know, Noggle finds himself running to the corner of the end zone, scoring, and listen to this celebration. When you say he was a little fired up there? <laughs> little fired up. And you know what, that whole series right there just epitomizes what the Rams have been able to do in the playoffs. They're getting, you know, turnover ratio of five to one in their favor. And when you're getting that many turnovers and not turning the ball over, good things happen. Yeah, that put them up 10 nothing. They go on to win 17 nothing. They're in the final four. That's your staff mark, play of the week. So that begs the question, Chuck, where's Ethan gonna be at? Man, I don't know, but he's probably got a reserve spot at this point on the Tenora bus. Well, he's definitely <laughs> heading to Wapakoneta this week when the Rams take on Minster in the yeah. Final Four. He'll have all the highlights, be there, be crazy, have fun, Should look for Ethan. Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, at this point, we would like to say thank you to our sponsors, our title sponsor, Bat and Stevens Body Shop, Frickers for hosting the show, Rose Insurance, and Staff Mark for the, for the awards every week. We thank them. Now, let's... Uh, Let's talk about uh, our Facebook page, Chuck. People have been kind of going there this year, the Tim and Chuck High School Football Show, checking that out. Yeah, it's all the rage. You know, even our, our holiday dinosaur has been going to the Facebook well, page. Well, the traditional Thanksgiving That's dinosaur, right. a tradition as of today, of course. Hey, they got to start somewhere. You've got to start somewhere, right. Okay, we are on Twitter, of course. Yep. And as always, come back Friday night and Saturday. www.crescent-news.com. Our sports department will be covering the Rams. They will have all of the footage. It's great. Go there. A happy Thanksgiving to everyone this week. We will see you next week for week 15. Getting ready for my turkey coma.